Joining us now in the studio is Maren Kleemeyer, EAGE Education Officer. Maren, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Maybe we could start by talking um, about the challenges facing the industry. What would you say are the major learning challenges facing the industry and why? Yeah, the, ma the main challenge is that geoscience need to think broader in future, that we need to it interpret it as wider as it is only for oil and gas. So there are many more applications coming up now with the energy transition where uh, our geoscientists need to prepare themselves for. So we can actually contribute in many areas, not only oil and gas, and we need to upskill and uh, reskill ourselves. So what are some of the current EAG initiatives that are in place to address these challenges? Yeah, currently we already looked at the uh, catalog and marked all our courses, which have actually uh, transferable skills in there to the new energy transition uh, topics mark them clearly and also have a label for courses uh, relevant for the energy transition so that members can easily find that. Um, and we have coaching course edits which people can use actually uh, to see what sort of new aspired role they want to uh, take in the energy transition. And what about new initiatives that are being launched this week at the conference and exhibition? Yes, what we are launching is the uh, energy transition skills mapping that you uh, can actually map your own skills against the ones which are needed for an aspired role. Um, for that, actually, the Education Committee and the uh, Debt Committee, Decarbonization and Energy Transition Committee, have collaborated on uh, defining all the skills. And we have now this uh, new tool where we ask our members first to fill in their own skills, which they have in their current role. And uh, if you have a great enough database, they can then compare themselves uh, with the skills needed in the new aspired role. Uh, if they want to make a career change. So actually, uh, after that coaching event, they could then see what is needed and where they have gaps. And straight away, that will lead them to the courses they need to attend to fill those gaps. And for anyone that's not here at the conference, presumably that's available online as well? Yes, totally. It's available online as well, and it will also be published in the first grade. And are there any particular groups you're really aiming at with the initiatives, or is it open to everybody? It's open for everybody, so it's members for members, actually, members helping members. But uh, we, of course, hope that we can also uh, motivate the people who are already working in geothermal, in CCS, to fill in their skills eh, so that uh, members who are aspire those roles are, can uh, rank themselves against that later on. And just to finish, if there's anybody watching that's maybe considering getting involved with an initiative, what would your message yeah. be to them? Yeah, the message is actually we are all learners and we are all teachers. So uh, think about as well, uh, that's the other element. We also want to have more members uh, coming up with courses, especially those who are already working in the energy transition topics, uh, that they can actually teach them and the members uh, on that so and we need to teach the public actually on on the long term but it's a much deeper topic <laughs> well Marin, it's been really great to have you with us in the studio today thank you so much for joining us my pleasure